it, it's not just a, a business for me. It's part of my life. I, I was born in here. My uncle used to give me a dollar a week. Then I asked for a raise, a dollar and a quarter. My grandfather's name was Ernesto Rossi. I think he came to this country somewhere in 1902. So he got involved in, uh, in music. And when he came here uh, from just an ordinary candy store, they started selling Italian newspapers, magazines, books. And he got involved in publishing uh, Neapolitan music. A lot of the um, Italian singers, songwriters, all stood here. I mean, you could, you could actually trace the, uh, the footsteps of the Italian immigrants that came into this country from the beginning of the century into this place. There are millions of souvenir shops on Canal Street. I mean, and every one of them look the same. Something like this here is unique. It's old. Uh, this is something that probably will never be duplicated again. A lot of stuff in here probably looks like a lot of old junk, but to a lot of people, you think it could be things that could be treasured. So we collect voices. In here is a collection of voices, right? Puccini is God. The dish is perfect. It's not broken. They got all kinds of statues and, you know, old cooking wear, and uh, it's nice to shop around. You know, it's very nostalgic for the neighborhood because a lot of these stores, they disappeared. And it's nice for people who have families to come in and they have memories here. They're only here, uh, Louie, he knows my great-grandparents. They used to come and buy the pots and the bowls here and everything. Anybody need help? I'm going. Well, people people know it for years and years and years. I mean, you know, people knew it in the 20s and 30s. I run into people and everybody's either been in the store or they've filmed outside the store. Just like that architecture you see out front. That was the world that, that lived here. This is the last guest. This is its last guest. Buonasera, signorina, kiss me goodnight.